I've made it to Scotland and Nick and I have picked up our rental car and the elusive Nick and I are heading off to Inverlochy Castle at Fort William for one night. I haven't seen Nick for months so I'm really really excited and I'm really happy that you'll get to see more of him on the vlog, it's very rare. Are you excited about the holiday Nicky? Hmm, hard to tell. Right. Highlands, here we come. Our first stop is Dune Castle, and if it looks familiar to you, it may be because you've seen it in Outlander, where it stars as Castle Leoc, home to the Mackenzie clan. It's also in Monty Python's Holy Grail and Winterfell in the pilot episode of Game of Thrones. And just like that, we're transported to the world of Outlander. Actually, I don't know if you watch Outlander, but my friends and I call it drizzle porn because there's quite a lot of sex scenes and a lot of drizzle. I'm feeling as though I've just been sent to that world where there's a real lack of a Jamie around. Let's go and see the castle. Dune Castle was the home of the first Duke of Albany in the late 1300s. He was the brother of the ineffectual King Robert III, and in practice, he was the Regent of Scotland, and this castle was as important as a royal castle. And this was probably the room where he would have administered justice. Anyone found guilty in the room next door could be brought here and lowered straight into the prison pit. This huge room on the first floor would probably have been the Duke's private entertaining room. And it's believed that in here he would have had a beautifully ornate bed from which he could attend to affairs of state. I do not know why I don't run more of Lalande from a bed. But up this spiral staircase is the most exciting of the castle's bedrooms. This would have been one of the warmest rooms of the castle because aside from having a huge fireplace, it's also directly above the kitchen. So you would have got the warmth from the kitchen. I know it's Lalande, the bedroom that we have over the kitchen is much warmer than some of the others. Because of how prestigious the warmth would have been here, Mary Queen of Scots stayed in this room. Just think if these walls could speak. And this was a super luxurious room because look, it even had an ensuite. And here's the loo with a view though quite chilly on the bottom because that is how the loo was made in those days. You wouldn't want to be a sheep standing down there. And that's the view from the ensuite, beautiful river. And now we're continuing our journey to Fort William. And we've booked to go to a Rue Brothers restaurant this evening, but I'm beginning to wonder why we bothered because honestly, I don't think they're gonna be able to beat this, Nikki. I'm in heaven. And the birds seem to agree. As we approach Fort William, the scenery is getting more and more beautiful. It feels so good to have arrived after a long but beautiful drive, and now I'm all changed and going down for dinner. Mm. Inverlochy Castle is ravishing and such a welcoming sight, but maybe the most extraordinary thing about it is that it's warm. I'm in a Scottish castle in November in a short sleeve dress. I love the two different glasses for the same whiskey because Nick didn't want ice and I did. This is gorgeous. So much better with ice, Nick, you're crazy. Cheers, best friend. All right, let's choose some wine. This could be a long read. We're the first down for dinner, and I have permission from Nicholas to show the back of his head. The furniture and objects in this room are extraordinary. All of the rich dark wood and silverware fit perfectly in this solid, masculine Scottish castle. Ooh, this is a very ferocious unicorn. I feel a sudden urge to get a bowl of silver fruit at Lalan. Can we get silver fruit for Lalan, Nikki? What, that squirrel's got a nut. Of course my eyes are drawn to this painting. It's making me miss darling Thor back at Lalande. Cheers, Nikki. Duck mosaic with smoked orange and prune chutney. I'm pretty excited about smoked orange. Mmm. I have crab wrapped in avocado. Mmm. And Nicholas has salmon terrine with a quail's egg most adorably topped in caviar, some of which he will be lending to me, lending on a permanent basis. Hello, 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's so perfect. Oh, it's excellent. Okay, it's all on your plate also. You have the pumpkin and chestnut and some crunchy kale and pomegranate. Oh, I'm very confused. My chocolate mousse is green. Oh, wow. The entire interior of the mousse is banana. I didn't think I'd make it up the stairs after all that food, but I've made it to my room, tour Lundy, and now it's time for a long hot soak in this antique clawfoot tub. I'm still half asleep. They were amongst the softest sheets I've ever slept in, and I found a little label. And it turns out that although I didn't know about these sheets, the Queen did. By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, manufacturers of bed linen, Peter Reed. So I have a new bedding company to look up. And as soon as I'm feeling human, I'll go downstairs for breakfast. But the exciting thing is I can already see there's a beautiful view. It was too dark when I arrived last night to see what the view was like. Gosh, always good to see a good bit of crenellation and a stone angel from one's window. The only downside to this view is Nicholas has just informed me that I'm going on an enforced walk. This always happens when I come to Scotland. I'm not a walker. We're back in the dining room for an epic breakfast and I can finally see the surrounding countryside in daylight, though I'm distracted by the gorgeous jewel-coloured curtain fabric. There's a sensible person having sensible porridge and my whiskey porridge brulee. Oh, this is the life. Oh, yes. No, Nicholas, I don't want to go for a walk because I've eaten too much breakfast and I want to stay here and read Highland Clans Volume 3. My pleading has not worked and I have to leave this beautiful place. I absolutely wish I could stay longer. As we arrived in the darkness, it's only now that we're leaving that we can see the full beauty of the castle. Hmm, that Rolls Royce is definitely not our rental car. We've hit a little roadblock on our way to the wall. Imagine the lovely woolly scarf that their wall would make. This one's too busy eating to get out of the way. Nothing like a quick snack. It's just been brought to my attention that we're going to those falls, really far away. I'm wearing almost my entire wardrobe, except for the evening wear, and half of Nick's wardrobe too. Hoodie, scarf. made it to the waterfall I can't believe it I'm not known for my walking abilities but it was fun selfie time yay Nick's pretty excited aren't you this is the moment I've been waiting for tea right now to go all the way back again well we're on our way back now we tried to go across the bog to get closer to the waterfall and that failed so I now have two very cold wet feet but feeling quite cheerful because I still have tea. We're on our walk back and we have definitely found our picnic spot. Mmm a ham and celeriac sandwich with this view. We made it. I went on a two hour walk and I barely whinged. And now we're back on the road, heading to stay with our great friends near Dundee. What we need on our long journey is a pit stop for whiskey. They have lots of different Game of Thrones ones. I wish I could try them all. Here is my House of Stark whiskey with apparently coordinating mocha truffle. Ah, now I'm officially in Scotland. And after a long drive, it's a joy to arrive at my friend's house. Elizabeth and I have known each other since school and now I'm godmother to her daughter. 
By a bizarre coincidence, Nick was also at school with Liz's husband, Lionel, and we both come to visit them every year. Lionel is a descendant of the ancient Scottish royal family, the Stuarts, and so he's related to Mary, Queen of Scots. These are all of my goddaughter's ancestors. At the end of our long journey, I'm in my favourite bedroom in Scotland, the William Morris guest bedroom here. I love staying in this room, surrounded by this glorious wallpaper. Even the bathroom is swathed in it. I think I'm going to sleep very, very well tonight. Good morning. I've woken up in Elizabeth's house. I'm still half asleep, but the day is beginning brilliantly because I have my shortbread. And I love waking up and finding myself entirely surrounded with gorgeous William Morris wallpaper. It looks like it's a beautiful day. This is always Nick's room when we stay here, but it looks as though he's already headed downstairs. I'm in heaven. My friends just brought me to a factory shop in Dundee. We're going to go and see if we can find some delicious Scottish blankets. Well, this truly is a factory shop. Oh dear, this is torture. I love everything. I've been a bit naughty because I got all of these. They're going to be used at La Lande. Oh, they gorgeous colours. Every year we try to make a themed dinner here and tonight is German night. So we're working on homemade Spätzle, which apparently my friend can make, and interestingly, Black Forest Gatto. I'm making the Black Forest Gatto whilst my goddaughter works on one of her fantastic photo story comics. It just means pausing from time to time to have photos taken for her story. Is it done? Yep, it's done. Here we go. Now that can be popped into the oven. I'm pleased with that, it looks good. Now I just have to cut this into three equal slices. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my goodness, I did it. I actually wow, did, it did it in three parts. Well this is the fun bit. I get to sprinkle the cake with cherry brandy. Ooh. Oh, a double, double one. one. Elizabeth, I like what you're doing here. Is that on purpose, the double one? No, no it wasn't. <laughs> oh, well, it's excellent. Layer one is getting there. <laughs> That way up, over the top. <laughs> Most of that's going on the table, but that I'm not to blame for that, Liz. It's because I'm holding a phone. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Definitely a two-person cake. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I don't think you're allowed to make black fries gatto any other way, actually. This is what, the, the traditional, the, the traditional <laughs> double splat method. This really isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good routine going. One bit of cherry brandy for me one bit for the cake well honestly i don't think we could have made a better cake no okay excellent That's doing really well, Charlotte. chief chocolate grater and chocolate should always be grated in a silver lame skirt that's where so many people go wrong this is a van dabby daisy ta-da We've come on a pre-dinner stroll to our friend's summer house which is a very unusual and incredibly pretty building with a stunning view Charlotte, I think you're wearing the best outfit. Yes, it's excellent. It's good that you've paired it with a dazzling skirt. Nick and I are team Spetzla. Never made them before, but we are all over this. How much do I pour in? I don't know what I'm doing. Let it gloop through. It is glooping through. It's very much glooping through. I can't believe this worked. I really can't believe this worked. It looks really good. So are you making Oh Nick, we did it. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. It's time to return to London and I'm so sorry to leave such a beautiful frost-covered wonderland. Scotland was incredible and I love going there every year, but all good things must come to an end. It's on to new adventures. I'll have a couple of days in London and I've got exciting things ahead because tomorrow I'm going to be meeting Erin or as some of you may know her from her Instagram handle the intrepid Chatelain for the first time we're going to have afternoon tea at the Wallace Collection and compare notes on the reality of being Chatelains. London here I come just heading to the Wallace Collection to meet Erin now and apparently her husband JB is in town so I'll meet him too. It's going to be really lovely. 
I'm sure we've got quite a lot in common. This is quite funny. I wanted to show you the beautiful Wallace Collection building, but this is what it's looking like today. Let's hope the inside is a little more spectacular. And my goodness, yes, it is still spectacular inside. This beautiful house and the art within belonged to the Marquess of Hertford, who left it to his illegitimate son, Sir Richard Wallace. He in turn added enormously to the mainly French decorative arts inside, and his widow left the entire house and the collection to the nation, and it's now a free museum in London. But I mustn't dally, because I'm here for afternoon tea. I'm super excited to meet you both. Can't believe this is the first time, because I honestly feel like I know both of you. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the most beautiful chateau appropriate place as well yeah and this you. is exactly what our chateaus are going to look like One any day. minute now yeah <laughs> wave a magic wand <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs> lovely to meet you finally cheers, cheers. so Ooh. beautiful i don't think we can even eat it it's i know so we, we do, we're only allowed to look at it <laughs> Erin and JB live in the spectacular Chateau de Bourneau. We both star in Escape to the Chateau DIY on British TV and have messaged each other on Instagram, but it was wonderful to finally meet. We felt as though we'd known each other for ages and chatted for so long that the museum closed and we had to be kicked out. I can't believe we're actually being kicked out of the Wallace oh, no. collection. I feel like we've done something really nice. <laughs> That's how wild we are. I think they thought that I had designs on their curtains. So they... oh, I still have designs yeah. on their curtains. Quick, how big your handbag? As we couldn't stay in the Wallace collection, we've come to Selfridge's Christmas Hall to get a little bit of inspiration. I think this was really yes. appropriate. <laughs> we actually need we this. Need we do. What does the Frenchman think? That may be approved. Yeah, approved. <laughs> we just need to drape them on you yeah. and that's Christmas done. That's just too good. <laughs> well, now I don't know which one I prefer. Mm, I Croissant know. or garlic? Really tough choice. They are both incredible. <laughs> which would you go for? To be fair, that, that is... I think this one is the best, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's the real French one. It really is that French perfect garlic vibe. Now, I suspect, much to poor JB's horror, Erin and I have come to look at the evening wear in Selfridges and just dream. We need dresses for parties. What's the point of a chateau without dresses? Exactly. Wait, I'm so sorry, JB. We're basically just <laughs> torturing you. Mind. He's very well trained. He loves being a personal love shopper. <laughs> <laughs> You'd look stunning in it. <laughs> Just the price of a boiler. And what would you rather have? Your wife in that beautiful dress or hot water? Essential Chateau DIY shopping. Also could be used for stippling a paint effect on the wall. Yeah, that's true. Dusting. Dusting, yes. As you go. But it's been so, so lovely. So <laughs> lovely. I can't believe we haven't met in person. I know, it's before. crazy. It's been crazy. So yeah. Thank you for the amazing garlic. Yeah. For tea. <laughs> See you soon. See Hopefully. You soon. Come to La Lande. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>